A young man is found dead in the Chicago River. Now his mother is left searching for answers about exactly how he died. And this one hits home for us because that grieving mother is one of our colleagues. Tara Williams has more on the mystery. We're hoping you can help solve. This surveillance video shows Jim Burfisher buying a few things at a downtown convenience store. Less than 48 hours later, his body was found by kayakers floating near Wells and Wacker in the Chicago River. Although an autopsy confirmed the 28-year-old drowned and there was no trauma to his body, exactly how he ended up in the river remains a mystery. He was just a, a very sweet person. Jim's mom, Debbie Carpenter Burfisher, is general sales manager here at Fox Chicago. She says her son was looking for a new job. He was athletic, outgoing, had a great group of friends, and was not someone who would take his own life. Now we're looking for, for people who might have seen something. Although Chicago police are still investigating, Burfisher and her husband hired Andrew O'Connor, a private investigator. So we're just trying to find somebody that may have had a, a video going. Using credit card records, O'Connor created a timeline of the last day the Burfishers saw their son, Thursday, June 10th. And we had dinner with him early mm -hmm. with his younger brother. After dinner, Burfisher played basketball, went to the grocery store, stopped at home, and his trail ended at this 7-Eleven near his apartment. At 12.38 a.m. on Friday, you can see Burfisher is still in his basketball clothes. He purchased a bottle of water and two chocolate chip cookies. The, the video shows him walk out the door and turn left. O'Connor says he assumes Burfisher walked across the Well Street Bridge towards home. He never showed up for a golf game Saturday or his brother's graduation on Sunday. That's the day his mother got a call from Chicago police confirming the worst. As his mom, what does your gut tell you? I feel that something happened on that bridge. And, you know, he's gone no matter what happens, but I think that my husband and I or my family would like to see if we couldn't find out what happened. Now, Belmont area detectives are still working on this case. The family says police have told them they're looking at some surveillance video from city cameras in the area. Toxicology results still haven't come in. Anyone who saw anything after Burfisher left that convenience store is asked to please call the Chicago police. Robin. And this happened a, a few weeks ago, and it seems like it yeah. went totally under the radar. You know, that it was a very busy weekend in Chicago. The Blackhawks had just won the Stanley Cup, so there was a, a lot of news that weekend, and the family's actually hoping that that might help them in this case because there were so many people downtown. Mm -hmm. The parade was that Sunday, so they're hoping that somebody who was down here for the celebration maybe saw something and can call police and help out with the case. That's true. We always talk about closure, and you know it's not they, perfect, and but they it's need, better than nothing. They need that, absolutely. Right. Thank you very much, Tara, and our best to the family.